Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Paper Grove Studio. How are you guys all doing today? I wanted to jump on and just show you guys a package that I received in the mail from J Jewels Unique Designs over on Instagram and she has a beautiful Etsy shop. So just wanted to come on and show you a package that I received here in the mail and we'll go through that together. And this is Julie Stein, designer and creator with J Jewels Unique Designs. So let's go through the package here. I'm so excited to go through it with you guys. Look at this gorgeous lace that she used to wrap around the package. So beautiful. I love lace. I feel like you can never have enough of it. <laughs> All right, let's put that aside here. And I hope the lighting is okay. Oh wow, look at this gorgeous envelope that she put together here. And it's Velcroed. And it looks like the napkin was decoupaged on. This is so beautiful. It's just sticking a little bit, but that's okay. That is such a beautiful napkin inside. And then we have some beautiful embroidered applique here on the bottom and some sewing around the edges. This is really pretty fabric. Another beautiful embroidered flower on the back. That is gorgeous. And let's get, let's open up the package together. Beautiful washi tape here. And this tissue paper is so pretty. You don't want to, you know, ruin it. And this, um, package that I purchased was, I saw it on Instagram and um, it's a journal and she made a pouch um, with an envelope stack. So this is so pretty. Look at this, you guys. It says Detroit Soap Company's Queen Anne Soap. That looks like she sewed around the edges. And have layers of fabric and lace and a beautiful charm here with a dangle that is really unique i love that hanging from a bulb pin this is really pretty fabric has a little machine to it and then this is the beautiful journal with the buttons on it this is gorgeous. I love the print on here and the way she sewed around the edges. This is really pretty. It's some pretty cotton fabric to tie it all together. Let's turn it around. I really love that stitch. That is so pretty. This is beautiful. We have a belly band with a journaling tag in here, I believe. Yep. And this may come out. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it has a nice window on it. That's really unique. I'm going to have to try that. Um, we'll take it out later. Wow, that's really pretty. I really love that. And we'll just go through it really quickly, you guys. I'm not going to pull out everything. That's a really pretty image. I love that. Really pretty bird image. I just love all these little pieces of ephemera. 
pretty paper. Coffee dye paper, graph paper. This is really pretty. And we have another pocket with some ephemera and a bag, glassing bag, coffee dyed. This is pretty. This has like a glassine type of feel. A pretty doily. And it looks like she did some um, coffee dyeing on this, I think, too. Wow, this is really pretty. I love this paper, too. Some more ephemera. These are really pretty. Yeah, I thought it was so unique that she um, included the journal and the sack. Um, and then she did the envelope stack, which I thought was so interesting. And I thought, I have to learn that. And so then I looked up a couple videos of people doing it. And it definitely gave me inspiration to do my own. So that is so pretty. I love the pockets. I love the roses and flowers throughout. This is gorgeous. So pretty. I can't wait to use this. I'm probably going to use this mostly for photos and some memories. I can smell the coffee paper in here. It smells so pretty. That's really pretty. I love the birds on there. Little postcard. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that. That's a really pretty piece. I love all the stitching throughout. Very, very nice papers. I love this. I love the way she put it all together. And it has two signatures. Very nice. I really love it. Thank you so much, Julie. And tie that back up, and then we'll go through the envelope stack, you guys. I also watched a couple videos of how to make this bag. I know there's a no sew version of it too. It looks like she did sew hers. Um, that. What was her name? Sarah has posted the owner of Crafter's Companion. She just posted on Instagram how to make a bag with um without sewing it. So I'm definitely going to try it both ways. Wow, look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to open this. This is so pretty. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's go through a couple of them, you guys. I just wanted to jump on here and quickly show you something that I was really excited about to go through. Look at these mini envelopes. They are too cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's like little miniature little envelopes. That is just too cute. You can just make this look like anything. Looks like she used some piano paper to embellish it. There's a cute little pin on there. These stamps look like they're so real. There's some embossing on the paper. Wow, I could just see this being so many things. There's a gold doily there. Wow, you could put this on a gift. Put little notes in here. It could be so many different things. Here's another stack. And the, there's a bulb pin with a charm. More embossing. Wow. We really love this from fabric. Let's go ahead and open this one. There's even Velcro on this one. 
and a couple pieces of ephemera. These were just too cute, you guys. I definitely want to make um, my own. Let me just push this aside here. And then it looks like there's more ephemera in there. Oh, the end was open, so I could, probably could have pulled it out of the end. Look at all the beautiful pieces of ephemera. These are really nice. Wow, I really love this. This is so cute. Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, I have to. I definitely want that so um, I could create my own and get some inspiration. That's what I like to do. It might be hard to get this back on, but I'll just have to squeeze it together and slide it on. That works. And put that one back with that one. Pretty pin, another charm. I love the use of charms. I brought my um, mine down so that I could try a couple of these um, eyelets and make a couple envelopes to make an envelope stack and that's why I brought it down here from upstairs to look hers over and try to give it give it a go so wow these are really pretty and you can just sit down and make a couple envelopes cut up a piece couple pieces of digitals or, or even magazines and or just some scrap paper and cut it all up and make little envelopes and pieces of ephemera and then all you need are some paper clips and some used stamps or you can make your own wow look at this that is so pretty the pretty ribbons, embellishments, lace with pearls and stamps that Julie has embellished these envelopes with. These are just so gorgeous and I'm having so much fun going through them. And I thank you so much. This is such a great journal that I just went through and these are so pretty. And here's another stack and she tied it with some beautiful lace and a lot of them are embossed and she has pretty fabrics and lace on them and beautiful pieces of ephemera these are so pretty I cannot wait to sit down and make my own envelope stack and I definitely got a lot of inspiration from these so thank you so much Julie and here's another stack just look how cute these are these are just so beautiful to put on top of gifts or journals and look at this she put a beautiful wax seal on here with dried flowers oh my goodness I don't want to open this <laughs> I want to look at it but I don't want to mess up the seal I'm glad that she left the side open oh I love those images those are so pretty Beautiful. This is a very old postcard, it looks like. From Quebec, Canada. That is beautiful. And I love roses so, so much. This is so pretty. I love the collaging done on this. Very, very beautiful. Slide that back in there.
Yeah, I definitely cannot wait to sit down and make some of the, these, you guys. They are just so gorgeous. I'm sure the side is open because I remember her saying that in her video. She made a whole series on making these envelope stacks and I believe the journal too. So I have not been able to finish watching the whole series, um, but I did get to start it and I cannot wait to finish that as well um, because she has just given me so much inspiration and she's such a lovely person. And I really love her shop over on Etsy. And it is, again, it's J. Jewel, Jewel's Unique Designs. J. Jewel's Unique Designs. That is so so pretty. I love how she put the little brad there with the pearl. Julie Stein, designer and creator. Alright, so I think we went through a handful of them and I cannot wait to sit down and make these as well. I hope you guys liked that video and I cannot wait to talk to you guys soon. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.